I wanted to make a quick video today pertaining to something that I came across. I spoke about it on my live stream last week, 2 Timothy 4, 3, starting in verse 3. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, meaning biblical scripture, but after their own lusts, after their own lusts, shall they heap pile up teachers to themselves having itching ears. The result is they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. Where do the fables come from? These teachers that they've heaped unto themselves. Well, I came across this video this morning in my feed. Uh, this is Dave from His Glory, again, giving platform to one of the worst false prophets on YouTube, Amanda Grace whose eyes, by the way, would make ancient Egyptians jealous. What they say is irrelevant. It's more monologuing, touting of themselves, talking about alleged prophecies fulfilled. It doesn't matter. It's all the same. It's all false. What's particularly disturbing is in the comment section. Jeff. Jeff made a comment. Here's what he said. I bounce back and forth from Amanda to Julie Green and Timothy Dixon and Robin Bullock to get a word from our God. My friends, if you ever wanted to see a prophecy, a true prophecy being fulfilled, it's right here. Publicly, Jeff is telling you, I'm getting my word from God from these teachers whom he has heaped. Here it is. He's, he doesn't brag or even seem happy about getting his words from God, from the Holy Bible, or sound doctrine. Look what he says. I'm getting excited now. Oof. Disturbing a little bit. And equally as troubling is what follows. Because you've got confirming responses from other followers who love their rock stars. Song says, I do too. Ginny says, me too. I'm a bouncer. Susie, me three. Kelly, me too, heart. Karen says, yep. Cynthia, same. Look at this guy, Trump won. Trump won. What's that all about? Well, I think you know what it's about. It's, it's everything that's connected. These are nationalist Christians. These are people who pretend to love Jesus, but their God is really Donald Trump. But he confirms it. Same here. They want to hear these alleged prophecies telling us that Trump's going to be ushered back into the Oval Office. Bonnie says, I do as well. Heart. Ashley, seemingly with a twinge of guilt, giggles. Ha <laughs> ha Me too. I'm guilty. I do it too. But as long as we're doing this, don't forget to add Charlie Shamp and Hank Kuhnem into that list. Happy smile. See what's happening here? These are people confessing to their delusion. Carol gives it a triple heart. She loves them all. Michelle says, Hank Kuhnem. This person says, me too. I love all this. Shannon says, don't forget to add to the heap our little Christmas elf, false prophet, Kent Christmas. Cindy Powell says, me too. Maria says, me too. And it goes on and on. Disturbing? Absolutely. Do you think all of these people who have come out publicly to confirm that they have heaped to themselves teachers are even aware that they're participating in the fulfillment of a real prophecy found in 2 Timothy 4. I would ask that you pray for these people. Pray for the followers to awaken that God through mercy would grant them repentance to come away from the worst deceivers in the end times so far. These false prophets are wolves who have seared consciences they have no fear of the living God, and they make their living, a very good living, by the way, if you're talking about money-wise, deceiving and using the name of Jesus Christ to do so. By the way, also, in your prayers, because this is spiritual warfare, pray against them. 
that God would shut down their ministries, that the fear of the living God would come upon these hucksters, these con artists, and that they would also repent of what they're doing and come to serve Jesus Christ in truth and in sincerity.